Hello golfers, I'm gonna give you one simple drill that may make your contact better than it has ever been in your entire golf career, so let's get after it. Folks, I'm gonna leave the head cover on for a minute. What we're gonna learn how to do is properly release this club in this fashion right here. Now, you can see that I am uncocking the wrist. Really, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take this butt of this club and smack it right in this underside of my arm. There we go. There, okay. All right, up. Oh, we're going to take it this way now. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Hit the arm, and I might even turn it around. Now, this is going to get a little bit uh, cooler. No head cover. Okay, so the wrist setting motion, up and down. Set, release. I like up, down better. Same thing. Gotta hit the underside of the forearm. In a backswing condition, up, down, up, down. See, the thing is, when I am uncocking properly, it makes my wrist do something really cool because they're called coupled motions. As I uncock, it becomes very difficult to flip this way. Isn't that cool? So no more flipping the club past the hands. Now I go with two hands over the right shoulder. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Backswing, up, down, touch it there. Up, down, and touch. Now you can see the club face is also turning a little bit. Now the reason why we're using our hybrid club is it's long enough to hold down here on the shaft. So my thumb is definitely up on the graphite part. Okay, I got to bend over a little extra, no problem. Up, down. Okay, it stayed right on there. Now, when we look at this replay, you'll see something really cool in my, well, action, I guess is the right word. I'm going to call it wrist action, but I'm going to call it in the release motion. This is a little different from what we call the throw, but it's another option for release. And this often helps people a ton. We're looking mainly at the face on view here. We can see the old timer go back and there's the wrist set, making a little L with the club shaft and the left arm. Now I'm going to point the club down at the ball and I'm going to release it till the club hits the underside of my form. You can see just how much how anti-flip that is. Do we get that? You can see that my wrist is out in front, my club shaft is leaning forward. There we go, really cool. We'll do this a little bit quicker, then we're gonna switch to a nine iron. Okay, again, start here. Up, down, there it is. Up, down. Right here you can see, this is starting to look like a Tiger Woods punch shot follow through, isn't it? Up, down. That's very, very Tiger Woods at the British Open low punch shot. Yes, yes, that's exactly it, folks. Now we'll take that to the nine. Okay, I've just lost my feedback. When you lose the field, go back up this way, get that field. Okay, there we go. When I get to here, this is called a long arc follow through. This club is as far away from me as I can get it, and this is closer to me, okay, the club head. We're trying to keep it as long as we can through the golf ball. If you're trying to hit the ball higher, this is probably not the right move for you. If you're trying to hit it with more compression, it probably is. Okay. So we're going to set, release. Again, watch the length of this follow through. All right, here we go. Now that's about the last point of both arms straight. Don't try to go straight higher than that. The left elbow is going to have to bend at some point up there when you get about shoulder high. But that's a really cool exercise. When you start swinging faster and faster, you still want to feel that motion and then let it loose a little bit way out here. And that's going to look like this. So 
I kept it out there a while, as you'll see, but then I let the club just kind of float over, just like that. If I swing fast enough, I get this baby, that was 75 almost. If I get that baby going fast enough, the inertia of the club is going to want to start taking its, uh, having its, I'd say, having its own way with my golf club. But I'm going set, release, long arc, then let the thing go. Start with the hybrid. It's easier if you can, you, for one, you're going to find yourself, when you do even start with the hybrid, you're going to find yourself hitting the wrong arm. It's going to go back to your right, to your right arm. I oh, virtually guarantee you, your club, the butt of the club is going to, rather than hit the lead arm, the left arm, it's going to actually go this way as you flip. But you'll get it. When you have to slow your butt down, you don't want to just have a new swing thought and the same old damn swing flaw. Slow down, use this beautiful tactile feedback. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Then go to the club, nine iron's fine. Work your way up. Go back to the drill when you need to. But you can get this, I'm telling you. You can get it if you practice correctly, so get after it.